All right, YouTube, I want to talk about what you can do to quickly free up space in your free Salesforce developer account. It's a common problem. If you use your org for very long, you'll inevitably reach over 100% of your used data space. Now, in this particular instance, I'm only sitting at 27% usage, but I've noticed that Salesforce has a lot of tasks set to happen in the future in these free developer accounts. And so I want to show you how you can clear that up and free up some space. So I clicked on view there, and this gives me more details on my storage usage. The topmost offender in my org coming in at a whopping 4.1 megabytes would be task with a record count of 2,081. Now that's not a huge amount of store space being used, but you see here in my own instance of this particular free Salesforce account, I'm only granted a data storage capacity of 45 megs. And so what you can do is you can do a mass delete of those tasks that are set to the future because you don't necessarily want those to happen. And so if you see no value in having 2,000 tasks set to fire in 2025, then you can go to Mass Delete Records from Setup and then select to Mass Delete Activities. Now tasks are a type of activity and considered one of several things that are available under activity management. So mass delete activities. Then you can pull in all activities that are set to happen in your org. And so you can search by not putting in anything in the filters. You could filter for things that are well into the future. I have a few things here that were last modified not too long ago, but then we've got all of these tasks that have a due date of May 11th of 2025. So you may have this residing and set to fire in a few years in your own free Salesforce account. I think it's a good idea to go ahead and wipe those out. So you can select 250 at a time. I don't want to wipe out these two historically that I've done and I've used this org for one of my live Salesforce classes. I've got a link to my live Salesforce administrator class down in the description down below as well if you're interested in learning live with me. And also while we're here. If you've made it this far, be sure and like this video. That would help out and be sure and subscribe. But back to the topic at hand, all of these are pretty redundant and I'm not sure what life will be like for the millions of people that have free Salesforce accounts on May 11th, 2025. But before we click delete down there at the bottom, I want to show you this other option here. You can permanently delete the selected records and what this means is that it will bypass the recycle bin and it will delete the records. Otherwise, if you don't check this checkbox, then you delete, you're still not freeing up any storage space because it's just sitting in your recycle bin, which if you happen to miss this check mark, you can go into the recycle bin by clicking on the app launcher and looking for a recycle bin from there and then empty your org's recycle bin. But here we are going to select to permanently delete those that are set for May 11th, 2025 and that's 250 at a time. And I realize and recognize that you could just fire up the data loader and do this, but oftentimes it's just quicker to do something like this manually and within about seven or eight passes, we'll be through all this. Now you could do an export of your activities or your tasks and then do a mass delete with the data loader, but uh, I just find that it takes me a while to grab my security token, get logged in, do the export, do the mass delete, and this is just readily available and easy. So you can just work through these and then you'll notice as well you start getting into some other tasks even further into the future once you get past that first date. Here's some things set to happen in June of 2025 and not just update customer but some tasks around some other things. I'm not sure what the purpose of all this is other than just giving you some fake data but it really does take up a large percentage of your free developer account. So once we get through all this, we'll go back to the company information and we'll check out the impact that that's had on our storage and capacity. So it's one quick easy win for you if you do reach the storage limit exceeded error message. Now we're getting into some July of 2025 tasks and just be sure and remember to deselect the handful of tasks that you want to persist. And we're nearing the end here finally. So, so we're in the home stretch. So as they say, wash, rinse, repeat. Just keep going through till you get to the end of the line and you see now we're in August of 2025, different types of tasks set to happen. And so finally I'm down to just the two tasks that I actually did in this org. So let's go back into company information and we'll see what percentage I'm sitting at now and we have bypassed the recycle bin, and so that has cleared up. And so now task is not at the top of the list as the worst offender, now it's cases. So you could go through and do the same for some of these other objects. 
and it looks like I forgot to bypass the recycle bin a couple of times, but we see now that we're down to just 884 kilobytes and that's 10% of my storage usage. And so now I'm only using 8.6 megs of my 45 megs. So this is something that's very helpful and just keep in mind the mass delete options and this would be a quicker, easier way or at least similar to firing up the data loader if you wanna just do this all inside the Salesforce platform. And cases could be another thing you could do to clean up more if, if you don't want that many example records in your instance. So here we have a lot of cases with different statuses. You can filter down by status. And if you wanted to clear out some of your closed cases because you just don't need that much fake data, or if you want to just clean out everything in your org, you, you could do that as well. But here I filter down for all closed cases and let's see how much you could go through and select page full, for example because we saw on, on the company information page that there was more than 250. So let's say that I want to clear up some of these. I can do that as well. Click delete. I forgot to bypass the recycle bin. <laughs> That's easy to do. So let me go into the recycle bin real quick to round this out. And under view all, you'll find recycle bin, or you can search for it up here. And we'll see what's residing in my org's recycle bin. And this is my recycle bin. These are things that I did and deleted, so it's sitting in my recycle bin. Or you can view the org-wide recycle bin if you're sharing with other users. So there's a lot of things here. I could select these and then select to delete, but I'm going to empty my org recycle bin, empty that out, and then we'll go back into company information via setup, via the gear icon in the top right, and then just search for company for company information. And now we see that we've freed up even more space. We're down to just seven megs of used data space in this instance, 15% capacity. And now we've got less cases taking up space. And then our task is on down the list. And I just have the two that I actually created taking all of four kilobytes. So that's hopefully a quick and helpful tip for you to free up space in your free Salesforce account. If you've not encountered that, you will. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure and like it, subscribe, hit the bell so you get alerts for my future updates. Thanks.